Greetings everybody, today I am going to show you how to make a dedicated server for Assetto Corsa Competizione. It is actually very simple and hopefully you will be up and running very fast. Sit back, enjoy and here we go. Okay, so for the annoying part now, the port forwarding. First thing we will need to do is get our IP address and write it down. So to get this, you press Windows key, type CMD. This will bring up the command prompt, click that. And in here, you will need to type IP config and then enter. Here you will see your IPv4 address. This is your IP address. But this one is mine, yours will be different. So make a note of it, write it down, because you're gonna need it. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is grab the ports for a set of course of competition. Now we can do this a very simple way. We will open Steam, right click on the game, a set of course of competition. We will go to properties, we will select local files, browse local files. Here you will find the install folder which contains the server folder. We will double click the server folder. We will double click the CFG folder. And then on the top here, the configuration.json, we will double click this and we will open it with notepad. Once done, you will see here, UDP port, TCP port. So UDP and TCP. Make a note of these numbers. This one here, is the UDP and we will need to add this into our router and then we will come back and we will add the TCP. Okay, so now we're gonna open our router. I'm gonna do this via web address. So Google Chrome here, I'm gonna type in 192. And you can see it's already come up, 192.168.1.1. This is usually your router address. If it is not, simply look it up or contact your ISP and ask for your router address. Once you've typed that in, click enter and we will add our password. Standard passwords are usually admin. So we'll put in admin here. Login. We will then click internet. And then we will click port management for my router anyway. Okay, so to add the port, it's very simple. In port mapping, what I'm going to do is click the plus here for me. I will then click the user defined is already up there. I will call it server name, service name, sorry, ACC1 because I'm going to need to do this twice. I will click the desktop and that is my IP that we got from the um, IPv4 earlier, the 192.168.1 and 3. I will then click UDP. Make sure that you always double check these things though because you might, you may make a mistake, but here UDP and I'm just going to pasted in basically so there you go there's the port that we picked earlier and again and that's that one done that is U UDP done dead simple and now I'm going to add a second one and I'm going to do the similar thing only this time ACC2 I'm going to put in my IP TCP and I will go back to this one here the TCP remember guys you can change these to whatever you want but make sure that if you change them in the server configuration file that you change them here too to match. So now I'm gonna put in the TCP and believe it or not, that is the port forwarding. And that is how simple it is. Very, very easy for my particular device anyway. If you're not sure how to port forward on your device, make sure that you search it online or contact your ISP to get the information you require. So port forward is, forwarding is done. Now on to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to go into the server configuration. It is very basic at this moment in time. It is only a free practice and that is it. So, but we're going to set it up and, and have a go. So here we're going to click in the Steam library, a set of course at Competizione. We're going to right click, go to properties, local files, and again, uh, browse local files. So we're back in the installation folder yet again. We're going to go into the server folder, CFG for config. And now we're going to go in the top configuration.json. Open with notepad. And this is where we start off. Okay, 
So first of all, there are there is a password option. Um, if you want to make your server private, just type in a password here in the middle of these quotations and that would be the password for the server. For me, I just put BRT Cobra, but if you don't want a password, guys, leave it empty like so. Okay, now admin password, again, still not needed, but I'm going to do it like this, BRT Cobra, and I'm going to put it in anyway. So there we go, admin password in the quotations here. Now, next, I'm going to do the server name. So there we go, just going to go over ACC server, delete that. And in the quotations, I'm going to write BRT in capitals space Cobra. There you go. So there is the server name. I'm going to exit this and click save. That part's done. That's dead easy, isn't it? Next, we're going to go in the custom.json. Open again with notepad. And this is where it gets all like, oh God, what is just happening here? But don't worry, most of these aren't even in use yet because the game is only update three and they're in no, there's hardly anything to do apart from the free practice, like I say. So we'll go through them quickly. Uh, the rules, um, full screen, we don't need to do this. Pit speed limit, uh, currently it's set to 50, but you know what, it's free practice, so let's set that to zero. Now there is no limit in the pit box. Uh, gameplay, um, we don't really need any of this at this current time uh, show fuel alert yes show tire temp alert yes uh, assist this is actually quite a good one um we want to look for stability control the minimum currently is 0, 0.0 now if we set the stability control maximum we can stop people in our server using stability control and gaining an advantage so we've set that to zero zero in the stability control and now min max is zero they can't change it um auto engine switch we're, we're going to leave all of these auto wiper uh, will allow all that kind of stuff auto lights it it's not a problem now this one i absolutely love this script here what you can do here is stop people getting an advantage and when i mean this uh, sometimes they will turn their effects low so if they're racing in rain they will have no uh, rain effects on the windscreen meaning they get an advantage over other people now you can stop that here Look at this, rain spray level min zero, rain spray level max five. So if I set, say, both of them to medium like three, then what we can do is everybody will have the same. Uh, rain windshield min level. Again, people will set their effects to zero and remove that, but we will now force them to have the same again in the middle. So that's really handy. I love this option here. No one can gain an advantage when it's raining and they turn the effects low. So good, sorted. Cockpit mirror, good. Um, Super pole rules, well, that's something that we don't need right now. Uh, session realism, again, can't really. Ultimate tie set, uh, break fade in. We're gonna leave all of this. Uh, session gameplay, event session index. Again, it's free practice. There's nothing you can do here, really. Uh, session event index, session index zero 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 uh, i'm going to look for some options here because this you can't really use most of it and it won't really matter in free practice anyway so i'm going to look for a ping option i want to limit some pings here so the graphics here rain, rain windshield we're gonna have to do this again so i'm gonna do that free and we'll do it free here again um again with the rain free and free there we go sorted um you should do this you should definitely do what i'm doing here um here's another thing let me just find it quickly uh the time the date timing and everything is here so what we're going to do is we're going to start the day hour at not midday we're going to start it at uh six it's a 24 hour clock so we'll put it at 6 a.m actually no let's make that 8 a.m so it's nice and light and you get a good long session this here session duration is what it is it's done in seconds so this 172,799 seconds is 24 hours okay if you wanted um a one minute session it would be 60 if you wanted a 30 minute session 
Um, uh, sorry, a 10-minute session, it would be 600. If you wanted a 30-minute session, it would be uh, 1,800 and so on. But we're going to leave that 24-hour for now because it's only free practice. You want it going as long as possible. Uh, startup weather status, we're going to leave all of this. But you can change it here. But again, update free. There's not really no point in doing any of this stuff yet. And uh, yeah, uh, max ping. It should be by default on 300. And I'm just going to try and find it for you guys. So we can set a minimum of, say, 200 max ping. And that will help a lot with uh, server lag. Because the game does have quite a lot of that at the moment. And I'm going to fix that right now. So let me scroll down. Where is it? Where's the max ping, guys? Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Max ping 300. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want a good, steady server. So we're going to put it at 200. And I think that's it for now. Um, yeah, there's nothing else really you want to change because it's early. And again, just free practice. Nothing else. So we're going to close this and save it. Right. Now, oops, I've gone out of there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that install folder yet again. And we're going to go into server again. And here there is a server, an uh, AC server. So I'm going to double click this. And now a firewall option will appear. Click it. And you will see it's, it's working. It says warning, lobby accepted connection. Sent config to Kason. Sent connected drivers list to Kason. This is a good thing. This means lobby accepted connection. It means it's going to work. So if I just pull this to the side and then we'll boot up the game and see what is happening. Okay guys, so just as I finish uh, showing you how to create a server, uh, there is an announcement from Kunos that the servers will be down uh, until the weekend from the release of this video. So uh, don't let that put you off. Set up your server, get it ready, and then at the weekend, you'll be able to just boot it up and uh, run around in free practice with your friends. And uh, hopefully, maybe you can join my lobby too, and I'll just pop in a few of your custom lobbies too. Just leave a comment of your server name down below, and uh, people may come and check it out and fill it up. But hope this all works. I hope this helped you out. If you did, please hit that like button and hit a sub button because I make plenty of videos like this, very helpful ones. And guys, see you on the track. Bye-bye.